Okay, so I have my dough all mixed up and ready to go. And it should just be in a ball like this. Look a little bit elasticy. It shouldn't stick to your hands too much. And it should feel warm and you should see the little flecks of the Italian seasoning in there. Now normally I would use a pizza stone, which you're gonna get the best results from, but because my family is big, I need a bigger pizza than this, so I'm gonna use a jelly roll pan. Okay, and now I'm either you can either spray it with some spray, or you can put a little bit of olive oil on the pan. And I'm just gonna use a paper towel to rub that around. Okay, now I know this seems kind of strange, but I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder on the pan before I put down the pizza, the dough. This will give it some really nice flavor on the bottom. You just dump it out. And then I just start with my hands spreading it. Kind of pushes around the, the garlic powder, but I use this little uh, dough roller. This one is my favorite, it's my best friend. That way I don't have to roll it out on a flat surface first and then stick it in the pan. This little roller just fits right inside the pan and is awesome. You need to get one of these. And then it has another little side for doing the insides of pie crusts too, for the inside of a pie pan. Now one trick to rolling it out is to grab the end and then you roll it as you're pulling. That will help you stretch the pizza dough to the right proportions. This dough would also make really good focaccia bread recipe. Or even garlic bread if you wanted to just put a little bit of butter on top of it with some garlic and Parmesan cheese and some Italian seasoning. That would be really yummy too. Okay, so there's my pizza. Usually looks much better when my kids help me roll it out. Now, again, I'm gonna put a little bit of sprinkling of this garlic powder. And then I'm also going to put a little bit more of the Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is really good for you. It has lots of antioxidants. And then I do have a good recipe for homemade sauce but that wouldn't be as easy. So we're using some really yummy, I really love Prego. This particular one is not Prego, it's a generic brand, but I really like the traditional Prego sauce. And then I'm just gonna use the back of a large spoon to spread the pizza sauce. And my husband doesn't like a lot of pizza sauce. I like it more than he does my Italian roots coming out. So I don't put a ton on, and this looks like not very much, but once it's baked and everything, it's pretty much the perfect amount of pizza sauce. You should still be able to see the dough coming through. And then if you want to just make it a little spicy, I don't do that too often because my kids don't like the spice, but you could put some crushed red, red pepper flakes on top of this before you put the, the cheese on. So there's the cheese, or the sauce, and then you're gonna get the cheese out. Okay, now the cheese is where I go a little crazy, so no criticisms here. I start by putting the cheese down And I don't know if you know, but you can freeze mozzarella cheese and you can use it right while it's frozen, put on top of the pizza and bake it like that. 
if you don't use it as often as I do, it might be a good idea to freeze it, especially if you're buying it in bulk. So I put down some cheese, and now we're going to put our toppings on. So whatever toppings you want to put on there, go ahead and start putting the toppings on. We're just going to do pepperoni today. Okay, now after you put your toppings on, this is a little trick to keep your toppings still while you're cutting it and while you're eating it. You're going to put a little bit more cheese on top. The cheese melts over the toppings and then holds it onto the pizza. All right, and then another little thing I do, some more garlic powder, just really lightly. You may think I'm crazy, but you have to try it before you... Okay, and then um, as you can see, I also sprinkled some Italian seasoning on the top, and then I'm going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese at the top also. And then you're gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven. I check it after 10 minutes, if the edges are browned and the middle cheese is melted and you can kind of tell that it's um, rose a little bit, then the pizza's done. Then you take it out and wait a couple minutes before you cut it and serve it and it's super yummy. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, and here's the pizza out of the oven. The mozzarella cheese is nice and melted, yummy, right in the center.